Hello, welcome to another video. It's been a while since I uh, gave you a bit of a video update on uh, my photography, but uh, today is the day for a bit of an update. So, for, if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll be aware that I've been in the process of creating my first landscape photography book, Capture Lakeland, which uh, I've been talking about the pre-order and the process of creating that book for a good number of months now. Um, to cut a long story short, the book is now finished, it's complete, and I've posted out copies all over the world, in fact, to many different countries, and the original uh, buyers of those books from way back in the summer have started to be giving me some feedback now, and that's been going very well, so thank you very much if you've supported me with a book purchase. Here it is, uh, Capture Lakeland, which is, uh, like I say, it's my first book, and um, it's A4 landscape in size, hardback book, and it contains over 90 of my Lake District landscape photography um, pictures, if you will, uh, from all over the Lake District, organised in various sections, and I'll maybe show you some detailed shots of the book here now in this video. It's been a really rewarding process uh, putting this book together. Uh, I think I might have touched on that in a previous video. It makes you think about collecting images and arranging them in a certain order and it gives you a bit of a sense of a of a body of work rather than just sporadic random images from various locations so it's been a very rewarding process to put it all together um, if you're interested in this book you can see links to it below and uh, it's uh, still got time to deliver it to the UK before Christmas so it's uh, you'll need to be getting on with that though if you want it as a, a Christmas gift so in other news um, I've not been doing a great deal of photography over the last couple of months really. Uh, autumn was meant to be, uh, well it was meant to be autumn but it never happened really in the Lake District. It was um, a bit of a washout with the various storms we had and everything. So that was quite disappointing but um, I did manage to get out a few times. I think I suggested in a previous video I was going out every day in October and November which was my original plan. Um, but I had a bit of a problem with the manufacture of my book uh, with the first supplier I chose to make it here in the UK. So I had to uh, be involved in that for quite a number of weeks, which was uh, not in the plan, if you will. So that kind of spoiled the first part of autumn. And then the second part of autumn was just, it just didn't really happen, to be honest, with uh, the weather the way it was. But I'll showcase you some images on... Uh, on this video just showing you what I got up to in autumn where I went to and there was no Scottish trip this year um, I, I like to go to the Isle of Skye around the end of October school half term holidays uh, but I didn't do that this time just stayed in the Lake District and uh, visited a few of my favourite places when I could and made a few images and uh, yeah it's uh, no big rush no big panic there'll be another one next year I believe and um, in the meantime we've got winter to get through before things start to come back to life again. It seems, uh, for me particular anyway, I seem to wait all year for uh, for autumn and then it goes in the blink of an eye. And if you get uh, a bit of bad luck with the weather, it can be uh, it can be all over far too soon. So anyway, um, I probably, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with my camera for the next um, couple of months, maybe just have a bit of time off after the after the book uh, has been sorted out and um, various uh, photos have been taken from local places. I've been going um, down to the beach by near where I live here uh, every week. That's been a bit of a personal project. What well, I've been uh, started just for wanting something more local, more regular what I can do. Uh, so I'm going to be developing that and carrying on with my local beach project um, it's becoming quite enjoyable to be honest it started off as the odd visit but I've actually got quite into it and uh, it's it's challenging in a way because the beach is a massive expanse of beach and you, you would think you could only go there once and create an image and that would be the end of it but what I'm finding is the the challenge with the condition and the light and everything it's it's made for quite an interesting photographic challenge that's something I'm quite um, quite keen to develop that so I'm, I'm going to be continuing that a local project I'm not sure I'm going to vlog that or uh, if 
even I'll ever publish any of the images from it. I'm sure I will at one point, but it's uh, just something to keep me practicing, I suppose, as I like to refer it as. Um, so yeah, hopefully coming through into Christmas now and next week and into 2018, I'm hoping to develop more of my Lake District landscape portfolio and uh, book two, if you will, Capture Lakeland Volume 2 will be uh, in development. Well, it already is, to be honest. And In fact, I've probably got enough images to make Volume 2, but I think, upon reflection, what's really good about producing something like this is it forces you... I mean, there's about 15, 20 years worth of images in this book, and, it, and when I sit and look at it, it shows me my personal development and my development as a photographer as well and there's some images in it i love and there's some images i don't love as much should we say and i think uh, when i look at back on some of the images i was creating years ago i'm thinking if i had the chance to capture that again i would do it differently and i think that's that's great because it shows that there's still more to go there's there's always room for improvement should we say and i, I think as well you know we're always our own biggest self critique so that's probably only fair enough right so i wanted to just give you this quick update because i've been getting a lot of messages and comments and things saying what am i up to why haven't i been producing any videos things like that the fact of the matter is i've been consumed entirely by this book really and and not the design and the creation of it was pretty straightforward to be honest but the fallout from the first book not being right has been something i didn't plan for and that's that's a process what's ongoing and uh, i'll be vlogging more details on the creation of the book i'll be going into all the details about how i went how i did it and what went right what went wrong and all the reasons why but um we'll we'll see how things develop in the new year with that before i divulge too much information on that one but um the positive news is the book's done, it's out, and the feedback I'm getting is amazing. So it just uh, just goes to show that it's a very worthwhile project for me. So there we go, and it uh, just leaves me to say I wish you a Merry Christmas, and thanks for your support in 2017 with my channel. It's uh, a bit sporadic, hit and miss when I've been creating videos, but um, I started with good intentions, and then this came along, and ruined everything really it's uh, it it took over from my initial inception to uh, to delivering it it was uh, a fair project really uh, but the second one will be a breeze and um, I've got a Scottish book in the uh, in development as well uh, which is almost complete so whether I've I'm brave enough to press the button on that will be we'll have to see how I feel about that one but um Certainly there'll be more Capture Lakeland books and uh, and the way they're being received is, uh, is, is beating every expectation I ever had really. So that's great. Thank you if you've supported me with that. Right, so Merry Christmas and uh, I may probably see you in 2018. All the best for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.